there is a lot to say about this fossil. Come over here so you can see this Lego, this skull, these tailbones, and these ribs. All these bones belong to one of the largest predators to ever walk the earth, a Tyrannosaurus rex. And this T-Rex is named Sue. T-Rex ever found and was as terrifying as you might imagine. If this predator were alive right now, it could easily spot you from anywhere in this room, even if you stood very, very still. And don't even try to hide. T-Rex had an excellent sense of smell. Are you wearing running shoes? Sue could move across this room in a matter of seconds. If this T-Rex was on the hunt, it would be too late to get away. But even a top predator like Sue needed to fight to survive. A close look at the skeleton reveals the evidence. These broken and healed over ribs are among more than a dozen injuries to Sue's bones. Life at the top of the food chain could be brutal. Sue managed to survive to old age, but over time, arthritis ravaged these tail joints and fused them together, making it impossible for them to move. Now look down at this leg bone. Its lumpy, deformed shape was probably caused by an injury-related infection. If you look up at the jaw, you'll see some holes. These may be the result of a disease Sue got by eating infected prey. Some researchers think the jaw infection made it so painful to eat that Sue eventually starved. Millions of years after Sue's death, the dinosaur's fossilized bones were discovered in modern-day South Dakota. Never before or since has such a complete T-Rex skeleton been discovered. Everything highlighted here is real fossilized bone. We also have Sue's real skull. It is studied so often that we keep it in a separate display case in this exhibition. But the skull isn't the only thing that researchers are interested in. Scientists have photographed, measured, scanned, molded, sliced, drilled, and 3D printed Sue's bones. All of this research has helped us learn more about how T-Rex grew up, hunted, ate, and died. In fact, the way Sue is positioned today is the result of scientific research. Take a look at the tail. Studies of fossils have taught us that T-Rex should have its tail off the ground, not dragging. We've also learned where Sue's gastralia, or belly ribs, would have been. They're down here. Now that they are in place, they give this fossil a bulky appearance. But we don't know everything. There are still some big questions out there. Was Sue male or female? What were those tiny arms used for? Did T-Rex have feathers? Did they hunt in packs or alone? We've learned so much about T-Rex in the last hundred years, and with each new discovery, the more vividly we can see the towering, ferocious, battle-scarred predator that Sue once was.